Hi, it's Martin from Steffi Ball Promotions, uh, Muller's Boxing Media. Um, delighted we've got Sam Eggington as our next guest. Um, Sam, not long to go now um, before, uh, before fight night and a fight with fans in the UK. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited, pal. I'm excited. Um, I've had my, my, little, my little portion of tickets. Um, you know, they've gone pretty much. So, so I'm excited to just go in there and put a show on with, you know, a few people. A few people, you know, screaming my name. Yeah, it would be good. It's, it's against the Mexican as well. Uh, at the moment, we all yeah. know what these Mexicans are like at the moment. They just keep... They, 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 they just love a good rock, don't they? And the, yeah. thing, the thing is with you, a couple of... I'd probably say three, four points ago, you'd have probably just stood there and tried it, but I've noticed with you, especially the Ted Cheeseman fight, you yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I think, I think that, like I say, I, I, I know, you know, from a, from a young age, from the amateur stuff, you know, I, I can stand and have a, have, a, have a fight. I can do that. You know, that that's, that's second nature. Um, it's just something I, I can do. Um, so we have been working on, you know, just... You know, sitting back, you know, slipping a few shots and you know, throwing off the slips and and so on. So, and as you say, it, it's starting to it's starting to materialise in fights and you know, people are noticing. So, you know, I can, I can if you know if it gets to it and we have to go have, have a go in and you know and have a, a dog fight, then you know I can do that. You know, I'm I'm well seasoned in that, but you know, I'm trying to work on my boxing and 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 trying to come out of any cuts and bruises. <laughs> And if, if you go back to the Liam Smith fight, not many people, um, tell me if I'm being wrong, not many people probably thought that you'd carry on fighting uh, after the Liam Smith fight because I think it was such, I don't know, I think it was at the stage where you, you just you just loved fighting, didn't you? You, you really you yeah. loved trading and you're a young lad. I remember the commentator saying, is this too much for Sam? And, mate, you've come back and... And like you said, like your boxing skills against Ted Cheeseman and Ashley Theofane were, were second to none. And it's just a completely yeah. different... It, I think, do you know what it was? Yeah, I know, no, like, you know, Liam Smith, it was just a big jump, you know. You know, to beat Liam Smith, it, it, a lot of things would have had to go wrong for me on that night, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Again, though, I was gutted that, you know, the eyes swelled up because I could have done the rounds, I believe that. I could have had a good 12 rounds. I mean, I'm not saying I would have turned the fight round and beat him. You know, I've done a lot of rounds with him. I know how good he is. It's not a joke when you get in there with Liam Smith, but I could have done the rounds and it could have been a good fight. I was, I, I never got any, and I'm not trying to, you know, um, make anyone feel sorry for me, but I never got any good praise off any Sky commentators. No. So, you know, it, it didn't shock me in the fact that there, there was calling for me to retire and, you know, Sam was past it, and it, it's just crazy. I mean, so it, that didn't really bother me, if I'm honest. I, I knew that was going to happen. I knew, I knew, I knew I was there as the opponent. You know, all that sort of stuff. So, all well, actually, it didn't bother me. Um, I knew what I had in the tank. You know, at, when I went to Fort Liam Smith, I think I was 25. So that's not even at that point. It's not even my my prime. You know, I'm just reaching it now, and you know, I'm starting to feel it, if I'm honest. So. So yeah, um, I got a lot. I got a lot left. Um, I'm not. I'm not stopping anytime soon. You know, I'm gonna pick this title up. You know, in a few weeks, and it's only gonna you know propel me even further. So, so I'm looking forward to it. No, I, um, I totally agree with what you're saying, uh, and I totally agree about you saying you've been in your prime. Because going back to the Cheeseman and, and the Theophane fight, you can tell you just you can tell you've had you can tell you've got the experience. You, look at some of the names on your CV. Exactly. Is that, and, and, and do you know what? A lot of people, a lot of people at, at, at my age are, are going for the first title or, or you know, just, just, just stepping up to 10 rounds and so on and so forth. I've done all that. You know, I've, 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 done, I've been doing that since I was 18. You know, I'm 27 now. So I'm doing that for a good 10 years. It's, it's not like I've got it all in the tank. I just need to put it together. And like you said, at the moment, you know, hopefully, you know, it's starting to get together and, you know, things are starting to, to look up, so so yeah, I'm just I'm just working on it. I'm just working on it as much as I can. I think now you getting into your prime. If that chance come up again, because 
I, I, I don't know if I don't know if it was true what while I was hearing, but when you know when you lost to that French, was it the was it the French geezer uh, in the second round, the first or second round? Oh, yeah, the, the, yeah, the Tanzanian guy, the, the African Tanzanian guy, yeah. He was potentially fighting at Wembley, when yeah. Um, I think now, if you was given that opportunity now, I think you'd take it. I I, I really do. I think you your eyes would you be know, uh, massively. I've, I ain't got uh, no excuses for any my lo- any, for any of my losses. I've got no excuses, but I've got a valid excuse for that one. I'm not gonna be screaming and shouting it from the rooftop. The kid, come on, we've done what we had to do. If I had an excuse, I shouldn't have got in the ring. So that val- that that you know that just throws my excuse out the window. I shouldn't have got in there. So I'm not gonna go and go over it. But you know that's the only one that you know I can say. Look, I shouldn't have got in there, and I yeah. did. Um, and, 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 and it backfired. Any of the others, I've got no excuses. That one, I, I genuinely believe I have. Oh. No, that's good, that is. Um, that's the thing, mate, Pete. I, I say this to a lot of people, um, because I've been up to a couple of gyms um, the last few weeks, and you see all the hard work that all the, all, all the fighters yeah. put in. And on fight night, the only, the only thing the viewers see on fight night is the fight. They don't see yeah. everything in the background. Like, no. do, do you know what I mean? So, like, you know exactly what happened, what, what happened that night. But the only reason I would say not for that, I just think that you're at that prime now where if Eddie Earn or if not too much Eddie Earn, more, more like Channel 5, if, like, a big, massive opportunity come up, don't think you'd throw it away. I really don't. I, nah, think, I think you're at that stage. I think you've anything. I'm at the point now to... To really make the most of it, you know, um, I think I am. Um, and you know, we could, we'll only find out. You know, I've got a big fight in a few weeks, and you know, I thought I fucking, you know, make a statement there and, and stop a kid who's never been stopped. Um, you don't need to stop him, do. do you? Nah, I don't need to, but you know, it'll be nice. It'll be nice. Yeah. You know, we don't yeah. get. But, um, but, That's um, when it can go wrong thought, sometimes, though, can't it? Like when you're trying to yeah, stop it, yeah. especially these Mexicans, man. These Mexicans, yeah. are not we, you know, we've seen one a few times, you know, in the last year, these Mexicans are coming over and doing jobs. So, did you see the even Eastern um, one? Not the even Eastern, um, the Tennessee, James Tennyson. Yeah, yeah, they next better, mate. You just never know. I mean, like you say, I don't, I don't know, you just never know these. These people grow up on farms and they're, they're, they're working from the age of 10, you know what I'm saying? These, these young Mexicans are built like adults from the age of 16, you know what I'm saying? It's a madness, so you always got to watch it, so we'll, we'll see, but I'm more than confident. Um, I put all the work in and I, I'm looking forward to it. No, definitely. I think another good thing as well, um, you look at a lot of fighters, uh, when they have a couple of losses, they automatically blame the manager or the trainer yeah. or the, the, the gym, you and John, and you're like father and son. You read it like you, you speak. I've been with John from the start. Yeah, he's, um, and, and he he's speaks a no. But... How many fighters do you know nowadays that have a couple of losses and then treat right at it now? Yeah. And, yeah. And it is true. You've got the bond and like John, look at some of the fight, like look at Nathan Bendon. Yeah. yeah, another yeah. Log, another lad who's who's come from the Birmingham one. I think I think I think he's a talented lad. I really do. He is. He is. Oh, I mean, I always say this to John. I mean, I don't want to go into it on on here. You know, it's an interview. I don't, but um, yeah, if you put a bit more into it, I generally think you know you do well. Yeah. No, one hundred percent. So, what's the um, what made you get into boxing like originally? Like, what what was what what was the thoughts behind it? Um, just as kids, you know, my older brothers joined, and you know, you just follow along, don't you? Tag along. I just tagged along. Um, we all boxed up until we were teenagers, and then when you were a teenager, like I say to everyone, you got better things to do, ain't you? Um, so we all quit, and you know, on a whim, I just went back when I was fifth. I went, I went back when I was about 15, 16, and uh, it just went from there, really. You used to train um, at, did you used to train at Lyons or Worley? Uh, no, nah, I trained at Worley. Hi. Oh, mate, train with you. Who's that? A chap called Shane Derrick. 
yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah he uh, actually, when I was an amateur, he actually come in because, like everyone knows, you know, I'm not great with my footwork or, you know, just jabbing in general. He actually come in a few times and tried to help me out with it, yeah, Shane. <clears throat> yeah, he's uh, he's a really close friend of mine. Uh, and when I said I was interviewing, he's like, he was like, Men he says, mention my name, see if he remembers me. Yeah, and no, I do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then and then what what made you what made you turn pro? As an I quit all the amateur stuff. So I had my son when I was 17. Um I quit my amateur stuff, you know, the 40 drive, 40 foot um truck driver. Um and I got made redundant. Um and obviously we heard about all the I I heard about the journeyman thing. And at this time, Craig Cunningham, you know Craig Cunningham. Yeah. He was turning pro properly because we went to the same house as you. And I rang him and I said, Look, Craig, I've worried you manager trainer, whatever. Tell him I'm coming up, I want to fight every week, win, lose, or draw, get me paid. Um, and that's literally, you know, and I turned up at John's gym. And then, so so you started your career as a journeyman, would you say? Pretty much, yeah, well, I went on the road for the first one. My first fight was in Wales, um, and Oceana, against a kid who was 4-0. and all. Um, And I beat him, so he went tits up straight away. That's, that's how Ben Field started winning, because Ben was climbing... Yeah. Ben's nickname um, on the fighting scene is the old taker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, and I, I've, got, I've done some rounds with him. I understand why. He, he's relentless little little tank. Yeah, he, he, he is. To be fair, um, <clears throat> I know. I know we've been we've done a few Sky Sports shows, and I know like Sky Sports haven't really give you the fair crack of, crack of the whip like at times. A, lo a lot of your stuff's now moving to Channel Five, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah. Where would be <clears throat> at the moment? So I take it the next fight's going to be in Coventry. Yeah. I think. Where would be your dream fight? Because I know I've seen you fight a couple of times at um at the the Holy Ground in Birmingham, Aston Villa. <laughs> and I know yeah, you. Yeah, I've fought there a few times. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't even, I don't do football, so it, it makes no difference to me. I'll go box anywhere, any football ground. But um, if I had a choice, it'd be somewhere you know, old fashioned, you know, somewhere like Caesar's Palace. So that would be that'd be like a dream. You know, the MGM's great and that, but it's not old school. You know, uh, uh, Caesar's Palace and so like them sort of places like that. You know, when you watch, so I don't really watch boxing in general, but you know, when you watch the old school. Fighters and they always, I always, you know, if you ask me about old school fighting, I always think Susie's Palace. So that's what I go back to every time. Um, no, right. Well, I watched so, yeah. um, Billy Joe versus Canelo the weekend. Yeah. Um, my, and it's every really often I do this, and I watched Billy Joe walking out, and the atmosphere looked unbelievable. Yeah. It looked like. When it showed, when the cameras panned out and it showed Billy Joe on the stage, I just thought to myself, "Man, that looks unreal." <clears throat> yeah. That looks... Was that Cinco? So is it Cinco de Mayo or something? You know, yeah. when you even got Canelo Cinco de Mayo. It's gonna be wild, ain't it? So, so it was yeah. like it was like a carnival when Canelo was coming out. Did you watch that fight? I don't. I don't. I don't have. I don't. Have to say. Have you watched it since? Like, have you? Nah, I don't. I don't watch him. I don't. I, don't, I mean, nah, I don't watch him. If I'm honest. What do you do then? What do you do in your spare time? I change nappies and walk dogs, bro. Nah, I have the kids in it. I just have the kids. Um, you know, when I'm out of camp, you know, I've got the kids. Um, uh, I say enjoy it, but it's just it's just a mad ass, bro. So. No, but I, I, seen you when, uh, I seen you when you like uh, you fight at Villa Park. Um, yeah. Backstage, you you you, you were fine. Uh, you went in, beat that. Uh, I think it was a Polish lad. Uh, yeah. And then sat down, just chill with your family all night. You just stuck a tip as well. Yeah, like I say, it's all on old pal. It's all on. Like I say, I was, I was a forty truck driver for four months. Past that, this is all on. Um, it's just a, a normal job to me, like. I took it for granted a bit, I think, early on, because you know I just feel like it's a normal job and it's not. It's you know it's some people would dream to be you know in the position I've I've been in. So, um, but yeah, it's just a normal job. I, 
I, I, I take it no difference. Like I say, I've boxed at the old tune from to 20,000 people. I boxed within 15 minutes. I was on the motorway and going home. It's, it's yeah. just, do you know what I mean? It's just like what I forgot back. I wish I took it in a bit more, you know. Um, you're still young. You say that. You, you say that. You're still young, and like you've got. You, what What is the zero record? Zero record. Yeah. It's mad to say. I was having this conversation the other day with someone else. How much people are put into the old? I mean, it's great as well. Obviously, if I could be unbeaten, obviously I'd be unbeaten. You know, goes without saying. But how much people put into the old? We got like young lads quitting because they lose. You know, fights here and there. But, but yeah, you can't you can't put too much into it. Of course, try and do your best to win every fight, but we don't work out like that. I mean, not everyone's made of us, so you can't expect to win every fight. This is boxing, do you know what I mean? So, exactly. so yeah, it's again, it, it's it is what it is. You know, you shake yourself off and get on to the next one. One hundred percent. Um, a question that we was asked to to uh, to ask that was if you was given the opportunity for a world championship fight or the opportunity and you get five million to fight Jake Paul or Logan Paul, what would you choose? Do you know what? Yeah, you know, I'm cold. The, the, the whole point in turning professional, yeah, was to earn money and to provide. So I'm taking the five million and I'm, I'm bashing at one of these YouTubers without a doubt. We've had a day. I, I, I just don't get it. I don't. I just don't. I, it's not. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I slag it like I slag it now. Like why people fighting YouTubers? But look, if someone offered me a million pounds to fight a YouTuber, I'd be all over it. So, I, 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 about, I, I don't agree with it. But then, you know, if I was in that position, I'd be there. You know what I mean? I'd be there. That's nah, insane. so I think oh, it's well, that's when you get like people like Mayweather fighting, you know, Mayweather's Mayweather, you know, he's a pound for pound, greatest in the world ever, and you got him fighting YouTube. I think that's a bit crazy, but um, but these things like you know, why is Tommy Fury and Logan Paul? It's actually somewhat I'd watch, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd watch that. Um, but where when you got when you got people like Mayweather and and people like that, you know, calling out YouTubers and, and, and vice versa. I'm not into all that nonsense, but but Tommy Fury and someone like Logan Paul is actually someone I'd, I'd, I'd get into. It's it's it's, it's mad because like my wife phoned me up and she was she, she was saying to me she was like, "Have you seen what's happened with Mayweather and Logan Paul?" Like, I think it's absolutely shocking. And I was like, "Listen to that." And she was like, "What do you mean?" I was like. You're doing exactly what they want you to do. You're watching, yeah. and you're listening, you're interested now. Yeah. They've got you yeah, straight away. So that thing with the hat, it's called, it, that's what they have to yeah. do, it's sell a fight. It's exactly what they've asked for, and, and everyone's done it. I mean, there's not a person that ain't speaking about it. Oh, look, he pulled Mayor of his hat off, and you think, Mayor has got about 20 security guards. Do you generally think if that weren't planned, one of these security guards wouldn't have strangled Logan Paul well early Some of the you know, and, and slung him out. Do you know what I mean? So I just think it's, it's all, all a bit mad. I mean, you know, what Lord Mayor ever said, he's clever. He could come back and fight, you know, one of these top talented boxers for for, for 10 million. Or he can box a YouTube that he's going to blast about for 25. So no, it, it's just... It's business, isn't it? Yeah. So. One hundred percent. Well, you can never have enough money, can you? You can. It, and, nah, exactly. You know, you know, people annoy exactly. me, log like, when they when they turn around and slight my river's career, log. Like, I I just think he was the best of the best. I read it in my opinion. I just. Think yeah, I mean, like I said, I didn't I didn't watch. I know I, I didn't watch too many late night fights. Um, but you only have to watch his clips. You need to slow his clips down. Yeah. And he's dodging three or four punches in a row. And it just looks all scrambled when you watch it live. When you slow him down and you slow watch him in slow motion, he's dodging three or four punches and coming back with a combination. It's just, it's all sorts of mad. Um, but yeah. He, Shouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. Shouldn't be able to do it. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't. But that's why you guys, that's why you guys paid the money because, like, a lot of people look at boxers and think, "Oh, it's dead easy." That is, but yeah, 
Nah, nah. I'll still do it now, you know, if I do watch boxing. I'm saying, come on, man, you, you go mad. It's the last minute of the round, but when you're in there, you're dying. You, you know, you, you're folding. It's crazy. Well, I'm out here screaming at the TV like I don't know what it's like. <laughs> What's it like boxing without fans? It's for me, pal. Um, it's not much difference. Um, you kind of it sounds cliche, but you have tunnel vision. You know, you don't really hear much anyway when you're boxing. Um, I'd do it in my back garden as long as I got paid. So yeah. for me, it could Did be it full of twenty thousand. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. What was that like? It could be twenty thousand people. It could be. It could be five. It don't matter. I'm having a fight. You know, I'm gonna go all out. I think the only thing is with fans is when you got fans. If you get caught by a punch and then all of a sudden it don't hurt you, but then the crowd think it does hurt you, you automatically yeah. think in your head, right? That's it. Now I'm gonna get into a fight. And, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's. And, but. Um, and that's and that. Go on. That that's what that's what it does for you. It gives you that little. If anything, a fan make you get into a tear because they, as they're screaming you on, or you get hit and everyone's like, oh, you think, oh, I've got to get you back for that one. Yeah. And, and, and it just eggs you on. And yeah, it, I, I, it can even do. If you and Cheeseman had a crowd, that would have been mental. I don't know. I just, it's, it's, it's a sickening of that one. Is. Well, yeah, but you don't take it as a loss there because you just take it as. He, well, there, there's been no rematch, has there? So that kind of tells mm-hmm. you where you are. You got fight of the year, so you've headlined two shows on Channel Five since. This is another one. Channel Five is like is the pinnacle of terrestrial TV. Like Channel Five, my nan and granddad watchy. They wouldn't yeah. pay for Sky Sports. Do you know what I mean? So it's it, and it's taken over. Channel Five is like there's more and more boxing. Yeah, well, it, it, I mean, love like, say. My numbers, my viewing numbers were unbelievable on Channel 5 compared to Sky. Um, and that is why, like what you just said, like, you know, the old boy next door knows that a box now because, you know, it was on Channel 5 um, and he's flicking through the TV on a Friday night and, you know, my name pops up and he's like, oh, me, he lives two doors up. And I had Roger knocking the door asking me if I was a boxer and stuff like that. So, so yeah, it's Yeah, it's, so what I'll tell you to move your car, move your car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the old boys, the people from the school, and, and stuff like that. You know, everyone's seen it now because you know, most people probably knew I was a boxer, but not, no, no one turns over to watch it. But, but when you're flicking through on, on the adverts and you know, it pops up, you sit back and watch, don't you? So, yeah, no, yeah, def- definitely. So, Eric, Mar- so after Eric Molina, uh, not saying we walk, we, 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 we're going past that. But what's what's the aim? Because this is a different weight category now, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, obviously, middleweight's a big weight. Um, but Molina's not a big guy. You know, he fought at white weight as far back as I did. Yeah. Um, he's a blown-up light middle as much as I will be on the night. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and I've been telling people this. People are like, oh, you're moving up a weight, you're moving up a weight. If I was moving up to a weight to fight, I don't know, you know, a big killer middleweight, then I understand, you know, obviously we wouldn't even have took the fight anyway. But the fact that, you know, he's, a, he's boxed that while as far back as me, um, he's, he's a lazy, blown-up middleweight as much as I will be on the night. Um, it's not a big deal. Is it down to not being in camp and not being able to get down to welter or...? I mean, he's been boxing that middleweight for a few years, but he's never boxed that light middle, I don't think. You know, he just moved up and fought on his own promotions at middleweight. You know, he ain't fought on no one else's promotion. He just fought on his own promotion, racked up a few wins at middleweight, you know, and doing it like that. So we asked him to do um, light middle, and he, he didn't want to. He said, no, nah, I'm not doing light middle. Um, and then we did done an interview the other day, and he said to himself, you know, middleweight's easy for me. I don't have to make the weight. It's easy. So it's just someone that, you know, he's comfortable at the middle. And um, he can get fights there because he's ranked there. So I'm happy to to oblige. Um, I don't have to make weight. I mean, middleweight for me is, you know, it's all fun and games. So um, I'll be full of beans on the night. I've been full of beans through training. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I want to have all the energy in the world. 
And what's the plan like moving forward? Is middleweight the, the, the plan moving forward? Because you've got a decent ranking in, in uh, Welter, in yeah. you? Like I say, I'll, I'll pick up a middleweight belt, you know, when I, when, I, when, I beat, when I pick it up. You know, I'm going to keep it, you know, if, and if someone wants to, someone wants to fight me for it and they offer me, you know, enough enough wedge and I'm there without a doubt. But um, the sensible thing will be to do is, is go back down to Super Walter, you know, and, and try and get a rank in there. Um, but again, you know, if, if someone offered me a big enough check to, to defend it, then I will. You know, I've, I'm not worried about that. I'm, I'm a big kid. I, I don't mind doing middleweight. Um, as long as they give me the time and you know to train for it and and prepare for it, I, I, I'm happy to do it. Is there any British fights out there that you'd love to make? That do it, apart from the Cheeseman rematch. Is there any not other? Not really. I mean, not really. I mean, I've won the British. I've won. You know. I've done all that. Um, I know Cheeseman's got the British, but it's not because it's Cheeseman's got the British, but would I go back and fight for a British title that light middle, 100% given the opportunity? You know, I ain't got that bout out right and I'd love to get it. So, someone offered me a British title for that light middle, and I'd take it. But the way you're going, like, you're kind of, you're kind of moving away from that level and you're like, if you beat, Mal when you beat Molina, um, and then you, you, your ranks go higher and higher. You've got to be coming towards like a European title, and maybe the, the way the world well, is at the moment. We, we, we offered we offered that 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 um, that Sergio Garcia. Sergio Garcia, what's his name? Sergio Garcia, ain't the European guy? Uh, yeah. Super well Yeah. We offered him the fight. Um, we offered him the fight before he got a contract with Matt Room, and he was well up for it. Um, and then. He got the contract with Matt Room. I don't know what went wrong with that, but he's not on the show anymore. And he ain't got the contract anymore. Um, so we offered him it again. We've, you know, we doubled it. You know, we doubled the um, the wedge, and he, he just point blank said, "No, he don't want it. He don't want it. He, he preferred to fight in his own country. He feels better there." So that's a, that's a fight that I'd hundred percent take. We've already offered him twice, three times, and and it's just he ain't come around. But it's definitely one I'd take without a doubt. Yeah. Because there's some there's some cracking fighters coming through in England. And then you got the likes of Conor Ben. You got uh, Josh. Wow, jo unbelievable! The Huawei rankings are from like number one to like fifteen. Are, are, is stacked, stacked. Would you drop down to fight Conor Ben? It'd have to be a big enough weight. I mean, Wild weight was getting a struggle. Like a catch weight. Uh, catch weight, hundred percent. If there was weight. You know, Wild Weight is 147, you know, um, Super Wild is 154. If there was a weight at 150, I'd be there every day of the week. Yeah. That'd be my weight. I'd, I'd be a kid at that weight. But that was always that was always the problem. You know, I'd get to a 10th on 10, and then it'd just be like chopping legs off to, to get the rest off. It was unbelievable. Pointless. Um, it? Well, look at Kel Brook. Yeah. Um, he went back to 147 to fight Crawford, didn't he? And he was yeah, the man. Exactly. Them fights are there for you, in there, like. But it's one of them, like it's they're the money fights in there. But you're at the stage now where you're climbing that ladder. And as yeah. super as it sounds, to fight Cal Brook could probably be a step down compared to where you. Well, need. I been out for a while. I mean, yeah, I mean it's a double edged sword. You just never know. I mean, he's still got a huge name. Someone like kind of Ben, I just think. It'd have to be a big, big enough paycheck. I mean, he's got an international title. That, that's all, you know. And past Even that, it's you know, gonna be a good one for me. Yeah. At what weight he's an animal? I couldn't do him at, at what weight. No, he, not one fifth no, of one. I don't know. He, yeah, I mean, it'd be a good fight. I do a lot of rounds with Anisian, though. Yeah, I yeah. Know I, could, I could imagine yeah. it. I could imagine you two just standing I know in the what middle. He's about. Like I was telling people I was watching it was that's that because obviously I spar him a lot. I spar him a lot for the, 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 the fight with Josh Kelly. Um and we was watching it and people was all here and like was talking about it. And you know, I've got people in the house saying he's not gonna keep yourself. I'm saying, listen, this kid yeah will go for 12, 15 rounds at this pace without a doubt. I have no worries about it. He will go 12 rounds 
like 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 every round's the first, um, and he did, and that's exactly how he won the fight. Just constant pressure and relentless, he, and and he and he can do it for twelve rounds. You know, I've been there, I've been on the other end. It's it's grueling. You it's can grueling. as well. That's the thing. You yeah. can as well. So you two, I bet. Yeah, I think that's why. I think that's that why you know he, he enjoys the spa because you know I I box nothing like Josh Kelly, but Avenisian and Carl. They both know if you want a good hard spa, you know I'm always there, and and that's what we have every time. It's always um, it's always a good hard ten, eight rounds or whatever we're doing, twelve. But yeah, it's always it's always good. I bet Carl and John just sit like ringside, just watching, going, "This is mental. Yeah. This is mental." It's a, yeah, at the start of every round. All right, lads, um, round four. Let's stick to the boxing, and then within thirty seconds, it's just all out. So we just. <laughs> I so swear it's it's a bit mad, but that that that, that was what made me say even easy because you've t- you've got that you've both got that type of style and you where you just relentless. Yeah. He's a cool guy, man. Yeah, honestly, he's such a cool guy. I don't I don't know if I'd take the fight with him. He's he's, he's just he's such a happy go lucky guy, and the way he boxes is just not his personality at all. He's just he's a funny guy. He's always got jokes, always laughing and. And then when he gets in the ring, it's like a, a he flips a switch and and he's he's a, he's a madman. But yeah, Carl's cool lovely, though, isn't he? Carl's a lovely guy as well. Yeah, Carl. Carl yeah, Carl's... Carl's there. yeah, Carl and Carl and Dave. They both come down when when we're sparring, and he's always got you know things to say, things to help out with. You know, it's never just all about David. That you know, if like, they see me up to, like doing something, they shouldn't. They're always like, look, you shouldn't be really doing this. Do this or do this, and. They've always got tips or you know hints, and they're always, they're always there to help. Yeah, the cool guys, man, the Oh, that's class. Uh, but uh, yeah, one more, one more question before I go. Uh, it might be a stupid question, and I might have egg on my face. But the new boxing game that's coming out, are you are you going to be on it? I ain't pal, man. No one rang me. Um, yeah, I've definitely. No one rang me, man. Oh, I've been got you, but what can I do? Nah, um, well, nah, no one's rang me, pal. Um, nah. Well, that's it now. That's, this this message is going to go viral. I'm going to tag in ESBC and say what's going on. Fuck it, tag them in. Tell them I want pain as well now because they, they've rung me late. I will. No, 100%, Bryce. 100%. Sam, it's been a pleasure. Appreciate it, pal. Appreciate no, it. Not a problem. Uh, I'll put it on. Uh, I'll put it on online and then we'll, we'll, we'll get sharing and I'll be cheering you on in my path. That's all right, for sure, mate. Um, where can we see your fights? Just so, just so we can tell the, your fans. Um, it'll be live on Channel Five. Um, I can't tell you start time. I presume nine, nine o'clock. Channel Five, twenty second of May. Um, maybe ten o'clock, but I think nine. So, I think they're showing the whole card if I'm right. So, so yeah, be be good, be a good show. Hashtag and the new. And the new <laughs> big green belt. I like it. Come back home once you uh, once you win it, and hopefully we'll get you. Uh, you'll be on the boxing game then as well. Yeah, well, fingers crossed, mate. Fingers crossed. <laughs> See you later, mate. I'll catch you in a bit. Hello, mate. Trap. Yeah.